quick update on where we are with the boat. Uh, we actually listed the boat a couple weeks ago and people are just now starting to take a look at it. And because of that, we decided not to take it out for any trips, like major trips to you know, Kingston or Polsbo. We've already kind of done a few of those this summer. Uh, yesterday, we decided that we needed to at least go down to the boat, clean it, uh, take it out for a quick spin on Elliott Bay, just to kind of keep, you know, you want to use it probably every, you know, every two or three weeks just to keep the engines going. So we did that. It was a beautiful day. And uh, originally, we had planned on going through the locks and taking some friends out on Lake Washington, but with the smoke here in Seattle, we decided to just stay, <clears throat> excuse me, locally. So yesterday we took it out on Elliott Bay, and uh, as Scott and I, it was just the two of us, and as we came back, we had put the fenders out, we were in Smith Cove, which is right outside the marina, and then as Scott and I came into the entrance of the marina, our starboard engine died. Uh, we went to go, and we know when it dies because they have a really shrieky alarm. And we went to go restart it, and it would not start. It, it wasn't like it was dead, uh, like an alternator or a battery. It was like it couldn't get any fuel, but we definitely have gas because we only have one gas tank that feeds both engines. So we quickly, uh, and I'll, have to, I'll show you in a video, but we were literally in the main fairway of Elliott Bay where there's rocks on the port side and yachts on the starboard side and we had to turn around to get back out to the cove and on top of everything we lost our power steering. So we managed to get out into the cove and then at that point uh, we now thought well if we could get on in dock which is our outside dock and I'll show you a picture of that too that's where all the yachts are thank God there was only one there so we thought well with little power steering if Scott could get as close to that um, dock as possible then we could tie up well it the current was fast I tried to hook us with our pole and it nearly took me overboard I had to let the pole go and obviously the adrenaline and a little bit of fear kicks in about that point. So I immediately called the marina and said, look, we need help uh, to get to the outside dock. They brought out a boat, uh, two guys. They towed us to the, to the end dock. Um, we got tied up. You'll see some of the video where it's a pretty brutal dock. You would not want to leave your boat there. Uh, in fact, last year an old wooden boat did and a 50 mile an hour storm came through and just demolished it. And so you want to make sure not to leave it there permanently or anytime during bad weather. And yesterday we got a, I got a, quite a bit of footage of how rough it was, even just from a few wakes. Uh, we then called U.S. Uh, towboat or Boat U.S. I think I, I call it towboat, but Boat U.S. And they came out in about an hour. We do have the gold membership, so we have the full package. I highly recommend it. Uh, you're going to need it someday, trust me. And by having that package, we didn't owe anything. So they came and, uh, I mean, I'm talking, this was impressive. The guy tied up to our, first he zipped the boat around, tied up to our port side, called the marina to have someone in our slip. And remember, we're in an S type of slip. He got us into the fairway, made the S turn between two yachts, and then came into the next S turn into our slip. There was a dock hand on the, on the dock, tied us up, and we were good. So now the question is, what's wrong with it? And I ha I'm not a mechanic, but I know what it sounds like when an engine can't get fuel. So I think it has something to do with the fuel lines because it sounds like it's just struggling to get fuel. Uh, we do have a mechanic that has worked on it before, but they're not available until September 1st. So we are gonna call Lake Union Sea Ray tomorrow um, and see if their mobile guy is available before then to come out there. The issue is we have Mercury engines and there's not a lot of Mercury mechanics here in the Seattle area, surprisingly. Uh, there's a lot of Volvo, a lot of the others, um, Cummins, but not Mercury. So we're kind of limited. Um, it's nothing major and we're not worried about it and it's better to have this fixed now, uh, especially for a new owner and before a sea trial. 
but that's where we are today. So we'll kind of give you a little bit of footage, uh, what little I could take because we wanted to be safe yesterday at the same time and, and uh, so I was using my cell phone. Uh, but stay tuned and we'll kind of give you an update on what happens next. These dock hands came out and they actually towed us to the dock because these cleats were too big and the current was too strong for me to hang on. So thank you, Elliot Bay. So here we sit waiting for U.S. towboat. I'll tell you how this all works. How close were we to the slip? That close. And now we're that close. So I'll walk down and show you where we broke down. It's going to be interesting how they're going to get us back into our slip. So this is where we normally put our bumpers out. So we'd slow down to put our bumpers out. And no, I'm not using the stabilizer because I haven't figured out how to use it yet. This is a beautiful yacht that's next to us. And, oh, it's a Citadel. Those are one of my favorites. And we literally got to the other side right here and we broke down. So it got a little scary because we had to come down here, turn around in this tiny ferry, fairway, not hit those rocks. We lost our power steering and then get back out. Ugh. And now we wait for U.S. towboat. We're sitting here waiting for our tow. Maybe it's these two kayakers. What do you think? They're going to tow us in? They don't look like U.S. towboat. Well, we're sitting here waiting for our tow. The tide is obviously... Check out the dock. Things are banging. Check out all these boats. We are obviously not leaving the boat on this dock. You guys are so playful, keeping us company while our while we bro broke down. Come say hi. Come over here and say hi. Oh, he's a good boy. So playful. He's so playful. Well, hi everyone. So, you're all probably wondering what is up with the boat. <laughs> so, again, let's recap. We broke down as we were going into the marina. And as I mentioned earlier, what happened was as we pulled in to the main fairway, the starboard engine just went dead. Nothing. So we kept trying Couldn't to get it to crank. Yeah, we kept trying to restart it, and I said it sounds like it's got a fuel line problem. You know, it just can't get gas. And the first thing I say to Scott is, "Are you sure it has gas?" And he goes, uh, "Yeah." Both, Look at the needle. Both it shows, and yeah, it shows, shows a quarter tank. It shows a quarter tank, and both and the other engine is running, and we only have one gas tank. So I'm like, okay, yeah. well, it's probably just a fuel line. So this morning, uh, C. Ray uh, from Lake Union sent a mobile guy out there and uh, spent some time on it, yep. tested it. Did What did he do? He first hey, did... He, he, uh, he tried turning it over. It didn't work. So then he took the... Uh, he connected it to his power source, so his fuel line, so to speak, and it seemed to turn over with that. So in that case, then what he did was he went back to our fuel source, known as the gas tank, and opened it up, and uh, lo and behold, there was no gas in it. <laughs> so we were out of gas. Yes, a rookie mistake after two years. <laughs> yes, a rookie mistake after two years. And it's because our gas gauge doesn't work, and most boats, their gas gauge, do, do, they do not work. And so we're not the only one, but there was just enough gas in it to keep the port side going. So, so the baffle in between, keeping the gas from sloshing back and forth, 
that prevented enough gas to go over from the port side to the starboard side. so the starboard side of the tank was dry even though it's still one tank we had enough gas in the port side to keep the port side engine running but we couldn't get anywhere with just the port engine because we lost power steering we lost power steering and we have stern drive so we don't have rudders so it's really hard to steer the boat with only the one engine running at the time so good news is there's nothing wrong with it cheap fix <laughs> and so we just have to now pay lake union sea ray for their mechanical work and uh, get some gas in it very carefully obviously because we will be in our slip and then go fill up uh, the tank this weekend Woohoo! so stay tuned <laughs>